Welcome back to the first Vitality Premier Division Highlights Package of 2023, as the league splits into two halves for the run into the playoffs. I'm Simon Mason, and here's the best of the action from the first two weeks of Phase 2. League leader Surbiton claimed three points in the top of the table clash at home to Wimbledon, thanks to goals from Hannah Martin and Sophie Hamilton. In week 12, the game between Beeston and East Grinstead was the highest scoring in the top six. All in the circle, breaking off, there's a shot, and that's the first goal of the game. Just looking at across the third of three, so this is the second one, low hard, it's been blocked. Goalkeepers being bypassed and it's in! There's a nice angle ball towards the top of the circle, is there room for a shot here? Howard with a chance for a hat-trick and gets it. Low delivery towards the top of the circle, but the strike is good. And he's grinstead into the uh, shooting circle again. Goalkeeper's been bypassed, and that it is. And he's been impressive throughout this game. Finds a shooting opportunity for a teammate, and that's a second. New division, it's 3 3. We haven't had uh, news of any further goals. And that's a fantastic finish, just as I'm talking about goals. Hampstead and Westminster shared a two-all draw with Clifton Robinsons, with goals from Sarah Robertson and Anna O'Flanagan for the home side, and Libby Hoskins and Eloise Leite for Clifton. With East Grinstead in European indoor action, there were only two matches in the top six in week 13. Beeston picked up a surprise win away at Hampstead and Westminster thanks to a Lauren Burrell goal in the second half. A Beth Bingham penalty corner goal was enough to give Wimbledon all three points away at Clifton Robinson's. In the lower six, week 12 saw two late goals give the University of Birmingham victory over Buckingham by three goals to one. Loughborough students won 2-0 away at the University of Nottingham thanks to goals from Susie Carter and Becca Malion. And the points were shared between Reading and Holcomb as Lizzie Neal scored a brace for the home side with Sofia Vierenga and Emma Banderak scoring for the visitors. In week 13, Buckingham's struggles continued as Holcomb put four goals past them at home, with all the goals coming in the first half. Reading picked up another two-all draw, this time away at Loughborough Students with the equaliser coming in the 69th minute. Goals from Maddie Axford and Mary Knobloch gave the University of Nottingham three points away at the University of Birmingham.
Surbiton have a five-point lead at the top of the table with a game in hand over Wimbledon, with Hampstead and Westminster and East Grinstead four points further back. So Loughborough students head up the lower six, one point ahead of Reading, whilst Buckingham are now in real trouble, eight points behind Holcombe at the bottom.